Hello, hello. So I'm going to be showing off the Lands Beyond update today, which is an update that has added the random exploration portion of the game, uh, expanding the exploration system. So one of the best things for Warsim, uh, about Warsim for me as a developer and player of the game, is the stuff that's random enough that even I don't know what's going to happen. Because obviously I've played this thing probably 10,000 hours I've played in Warsim from testing and things like that. And I still enjoy the game, I still play it. But the things that I really enjoy and probably still have significant enjoyment in are unpredictable things. Whereas the stuff that's pretty samey and repetitive does get old after 10,000 hours, as you might imagine. Um, and the Lands Beyond, I think, is definitely going to be one of those things that's going to keep you on your toes. I probably won't leave it as it is. There's probably going to be expansions on it in the future. But it's, it's already shaped up to be a decent update in the direction where it needs to be going. So I'm going to be making a special little cheat thing in this save just to give myself a large amount of exploration chances. And yeah, we'll go through and just keep exploring and seeing what comes up. So I've done a quick, quick save, quick start, whatever the fuck we call it. Um, and I am apparently a guy called Dunak Yanison of Munara. And who have we got in this world? Metal Kobolds. That's metal, dude. Um, unborn Bone Wizards. Ooh. Um, arcane Lightning Centaurs, Pond Hydromancers, Seafaring Folk, and our default Goblins and Demons. So, without any further ado then, I don't care about any of this shit, so let's just skip. And we've got the lands beyond. So, I did say I was going to use a little cheat. So I would say, if you are a principled person who doesn't want to know how to cheat the exploration system, look away. Here we go. Right, so I've got 100 explore chances, and I'm going to exhaust those motherfuckers before we move on. Um, now, that being said, I'm playing the official Steam version of the update, and I've already fixed, I think, four or five bugs since the release. Obviously, this version will have those if it comes up. And it, there is also potential we come across more. The problem also with being a one-man developer and creating a system that has so many different possibilities is when you're testing, you can't necessarily encounter all of those possibilities because I, I worked it out. There are about 2,100 and something different possible events that can occur through this system. And obviously, in my testing, I probably came across, at best, 500. So I hope to God I don't find any bugs in this video. But if I do, I'm the right fucking guy for it because I can at least fix them. But it would be embarrassing. So here we go. Let's fucking explore without any further ado. And we found a war camp full of gnome warriors, but they're very depressed. Hmm, that's, that's sad. Can I recruit them? How do you expect us to follow you when we can't even keep up? No. Gnomes follow gnomes. Wow, okay. Who's the leader here? You try to strike up a conversation, but the gnomes are too depressed to talk. Hmm, mood. Mood. Uh, can I talk to a gnome warrior? Also too depressed to talk. They're too depressed to have insult battles. They're too depressed to whistle. Should I put them out of their misery? I don't know. Is that mean? I mean, I haven't even checked how big my army is, but I feel like gnomes are going to be pretty fucking easy to attack. So, shh, fuck it. Let's just go. Charge! Uh, oh, wow. Okay. That's a massacre. Lovely. Sorry for anyone who's uh, not very good with puke sound effects. Hey, there we go. Those depressed gnomes were absolutely piss easy to take care of. Um, but there's nothing inside but a crate with a faint smell of goblin urine. Man, they fucking played us. No wonder they were depressed. Their loot is goblin piss. That is not very good loot. Well, time to keep going. Ah, a lone scout sprints past and gives you a travel tip, which basically just nulled my spending of... Oh, a war camp of hostile goblins. They do not enjoy your presence. So they're hostile, but not, like, hostile enough to attack me. Can I recruit them? They scoff at the idea of someone joining someone that slaves their people. So if I didn't have goblin slavery active, maybe they wouldn't have been hostile to me. Hmm. How do they even know, man? How do they even know? All right, let's watch a goblin drummer. Me camp drummer. Make noise. Good. All right, I've seen enough. Um, let's assess these bad boys. Oh wow, there's 86,000 battle score in this party. I guess there is quite a lot of them, to be fair. Shame I can't recruit them. They scoff at your request to speak to their leader and claim they do not abide by a leader. Mithro rocks is best strategy in fight. Hmm, agree. Well, I'm going to move on from these guys because I don't want to fuck with these goblins and they don't like me. Um, I discovered the ruins of a scout camp. Though nearly completely picked clean, I still find a small crude map. 
with some extra exploration chances. Fuck. I'm never going to clear these 99 explore chances now, am I? I feel like that's going to be the problem. We're going to get to, like, 80, and then I'm going to gain, like, some bonuses. Ooh, we found a graveyard. Uh, Geralt the Slow. Well, rest in peace, bro. Um, let's loot the graves. Um, so, Old Sergio the Mirror Breaker, the seventh, um, has a small golden duck statue in his grave. Well, he did. Now he doesn't. Uh, and yeah, let's desecrate some graves, man. We're here for fun, right? Um, so, well, not much else to do here now. A strange pointy rock that seems to have a chip of it missing. It's unclear what this actually is, though. Be it a local monument, a, re a religiously significant stone, some kind of natural formation, maybe even a goblin scratching post. <laughs> uh, it makes me laugh to think the idea that they, there are some goblins just scratching their ass on a pointy rock. Hmm, this rock smells like piss. Definitely goblins. Alright, what else we got? Um, an abandoned fight pit. Ah, oh, shame. Well, may as well destroy it then. That's the one thing. Destroying a lot of random buildings in this has been my intrusive thoughts winning kind of feature creep. Find a satchel of coins. Never go wrong there. Ooh, a rogue tower occupied by bandits. I could hire them for basically every penny that I have. Hmm. I'll have a little chat to them first, but I feel like that's not the worst deal ever. I mean, that's the, pretty much the same price as hiring them from the prisons, but I could probably do with a little extra force. I, I noticed in the gnome fight we only had 600 men. Let's have a look. Um, he looks at me angrily. Who are you? We are the Tower Bandits when we join and don't enjoy questions. What are you doing here? Resting and raiding. What life is there for a bandit here? A good one, so long as we have another target. Anything interesting out there? Interesting? No. Raidable? Yes. Oh, God, he's a pretty one-track guy, this dude, huh? All right. You're hired. And now, let's have a look and see if they left any cool loot in the tower. See if I can make some money back. Um, a piece of a stone. Yeah, let's smash that tower down. All right, next. Um, a foot of a large mountain named the Mountain of Slicer. You could swear you see something at the top. Let's shout up. It echoes slightly, then silence. Hmm. Mm. Oh, that was literally the sound I just made. Hmm. Um, I would send one of my knights, but I feel like they're gonna die. I only have five knights. Ugh. Really should have gotten climbing picks before I came here. Um, ah, fuck it, we'll send it. We'll send them. Oh, he survived. We did it. We only lost three of our knights. Ah, and we find a flag that says Uthdin the Life Leecher was here. So we remove the flag and raise our own, gaining one public opinion, which was definitely worth the loss of three of our five most elite units. Oh, a patch of dirt with a hole in it, and I can hear buzzing. Hmm. Hello? Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's a small hive of buzzing insects. Well, let's rummage it. See if there's anything good in there. Yeah, Nothing. Well, let's fill that hole in and forget about it. Forget about it. Um, I find a site of an ancient battlefield long since picked clean by vultures and scavengers. Ah, yeah, fucking shame. If I was a necromancer, there might have been corpses here I could raise, but I am, alas, not a necro. Uh, patch of barren land. Cool. That could be useful later on. An old shrine dedicated to Rayek Lava Brained. Blessings of Rayek Lava Brained upon ye. Thank you. Oh, there's an offering here. What are the. Oh, wow. A silver phoenix ring with emeralds for eyes was just sitting on this thing. Can I destroy the thing? There we go. Well, I pray but feel a silence in my soul. Probably because I stole from the fucking shrine and destroyed it. What else we got? Wandering peasants for 700 gold. 35 gold each is fucking expensive, man. I'm going to have to skip that. All right. Oh, we got another exploration chance. Told you this journey would never end. Hmm. Found an old ruin. Cannot desecrate it as it's already been desecrated, so this one's been ruined. But there's still an offering here, weirdly. An obsidian cup with gold lining. I'm making good money from looting a lot of stuff. Oh, we approach a tall wizard's tower, stood overlooking goblin lands. The wizard shouts from the tower, Do you have a goblin? I'll give you an orb. I don't have any goblins, that's a shame. Uh, talk to the wizard, I guess. Who are you? I am the greatest wizard that nobody knows. Ha ha ha. What are you doing here? 
studying and experimenting, living my life. How did you get this tower? This tower is an extension of my psyche. It is me. Very good, very good. All right, well, guess I'll move on then. I don't know. Shame I can't trade with him. Ooh, a tankard made of demon bone. Oh, we found a war camp that's littered with corpses. Let's investigate hmm. for information. Hmm. Once belonged to the bandits, so it looks like bandits. Bandit war camp, they got wiped out. Sounds like uh, karma to me. What have they got loot-wise here? A frozen demon's eye. Wow, okay. That's cool. I feel like I've made a decent amount of money here. Oh, an old empty tower that looks like it's got a bunch of eyes in it. That's actually oddly terrifying for a piece of proc gen at ASCII art. Search the tower for loot. Um, I find um, a Battle of the Two Pits trophy. That's awesome. So for those who don't know, the Battle of the Two Pits, there are two different um, fighting pits in the northern territories of the game world, and they have fighting championships every year where the, the champion of the respective pit fights a challenger. But every three years, the two champions meet each other in each other's pit alternatingly. So once every three years, they switch to where the event is being held. And then there is a supreme champion of all the pits, and whoever does that gets the Battle of the Two-Pitch Trophy. And I think if they get a couple of Battle of the Two-Pitch Trophy, something else happens, but it's been a while. So yeah, it's kind of cool to find one of those in the wild. And obviously we're going to destroy the tower. Alright, what else we got? Let's keep going. Read a random gravestone. Asser of Cheyenne. Let's desecrate the grave. Oh wait, no, I want to loot a grave first, don't I? A crudely made stone axe. Was that held by Witgar of the Inferno? Hmm... Yeah, we gotta desecrate them. I just, I can't help myself. I have to destroy every location before we leave them. Um, a collapsed mountain. So, it's, yeah, pretty fucking useless because it's already been destroyed. Let's keep going. Oh, a famous elven loot. Love it. Another bloody grave. All right, let's loot some graves. A unicorn horn fashioned into a cup. I don't know about you guys, I feel like I'm getting a lot of cups and mugs and tankards in this region of exploration. A lone warrior, my overseer, I've wandered long in search of one to serve. I am Malak Demon Hater, will you take me? I accept you, you may join me. Thank you, he says. So he's my first champion. He's got a nice little beard there, a couple little straggly hairs, big nose. You, my friend, will serve me well in the battles to come. Empty battlefield. Hmm, looks like there was a battle to come, but that battle came long in the past. Oh, a camp of goblin colonists that are heading towards new lands to start a new tribe and seem confident and full of energy. There's 150 of them. Can we recruit them? They thank you for the offer but can't abandon their colonial ambitions. Um, maybe you should return to your homeland. Let's assess them. 10,000 battle score. That's quite a lot, considering. Um, so they've got two types. They've got settlers and colonial warriors. Seems like they're stronger than... Default goblins. I think default goblins have a battle score of 50. So a colonial goblin here, they're a bit more hardy. They're a bit more aware of their surroundings. And these uh, colonial goblin warriors are nearly as strong as a soldier. Just 10 battle score weaker than a soldier. So interesting. Pretty cool. Uh, let's talk to the leader. Who are you? Humble goblin colonists, my friend. Nothing of any concern. Weirdly, I feel like that is now of my concern. You know what I mean? Hmm. Part of me wants to play this not evil and not attack these goblins so maybe I should not attack them but I'm gonna all right let's send Malak demon hater let's see how this goes let's wait a while we don't want to go and fight in the fog oh wow okay we got fucking luminous fog it's even rarer and a lone arrow claps a goblin settler in the head <laughs> Oh, Malik Demon Hater has taken out a warrior and two settlers. And there it is. Oh, okay, they got they got us a little bit there, but... Oh, shit. Some of the attacking fighters are mesmerized by the glowing fog and are caught off guard by the goblin colony. Damn. Yeah! Glowing fog really got my guys confused there. Alright, well... We find a crate with a vial of elf vomit inside it. Are you fucking shitting me? Why, every time I attack a war camp, the loot is... Absolutely trash. All right. Loot a gravestone. Look at that. See? Loot a gravestone. Powerful lich skull. 310 gold. I loot a fucking war camp where I've just killed 100 so people and I get a vial of puke or a chest of piss. I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, thank you, Kevelt Nash. That's an interesting name. Let's move on. 
or a hole with a large something. Anyone there? Oh, shit, I pressed the wrong button. I did not mean to call out to fill that hole, but now that hole is filled, so I guess we move on. Um, a lone scout gives me an exploration tip. Thank you. Um, lost night wandering aimlessly. An overgrown signpost that says Rum Yellow Cloaks is located 8,886 8, strides away. Hmm. The Rum Yellow Cloaks. Some desperate looking peasants. Three gold each. Oh, warriors, even. Are they soldiers? That is the deal of the century. Oh my god, that is soldiers. Well, that is a fucking bargain. Love to see that. Alright. Oh, we found that strange goblin scratching butt wiping post again. Let's ignore that. Masterless soldier for 31 gold each. Not as good a deal, to be honest. Um, Eternal Blades. Similarly located distantly away. Why are we getting all these signposts all of a sudden? There's a wandering knight, but when he sees me, he runs away. Oh, well, that's not very nice. Um, you approach a fight pit and learn that slaves battle for their freedom. Alright, let's have a look. Um, Nothing purer than a fight for freedom, right? Well, let's watch a slave brawl then. Trevor, Tremor the Broken against Sir Revin the Trodden. Um, I guess the knight, Sir Revin. Oh, he's losing it. That's pretty close. Sir Revan won. Having won the fight, Sir Revan of Trodden is now a free man. Oh, I can bet on a pit fight. Alright. Um, Horin the Chained or Serral the Slave? Horin the Chained sounds pretty cool, I guess. It's 300. 300 gold on Horin. Oh, and he comes out swinging. But he has lower HP, so... Oh, no. Come on. Come on. You were in the lead for a second. Horin, no! He's definitely fucked now. There's no way he's gonna worm his way out of this one, surely. Shit. Fuck. Oh, well, they've got 300 extra gold. Good for them, the fuckers. Alright, let's have another go. Um, Sir Mirwin? I mean, he's a knight, right? He's probably... Do I bet all my gold? Am I really gonna fucking do this? Ah, oh, man. Why does War Sim always become Gamble Sim? Totally was never my intention, but... It keeps fucking happening, doesn't it? Well, let's just say this pit is definitely getting fucking raided. Well, okay, fair. Their ex fighters joined me. Didn't manage to retrieve the lost gold, though, which is sad. I found the ruins of a small trading post, so someone must have gotten to this before I did. Shame. It's funny because it looks like every building when I'm done with it. And we're nearly halfway, actually. We find a tomb at the side of a large rock formation dedicated to a family of nobility known as the Myrtle Clan. It's cursed by ghosts. Um, there's famous words scrolled on the side. Um, we know how you charged. Oh yeah? With a power bank. Um, read the text written on the walls. Clan Myrtle was a rebellious clan of nobles who fought and paid the ultimate price for their people. Let's send one of my... Uh, let's send a peasant. Go on. Oof. Oh, okay. Managed to get through, and he's found an ancient encrusted sword. Oh, and also a steel sword with pictures of a grand castle engraved on it. Huh. Good job, good job. Let's destroy this fucking thing and move on. There we go. Oh, another scout map. Love that. Never gonna stop exploring, are we? Five soldiers who are desperate for a fucking master. Join my army, and you will be killed fighting a gnome camp for a pile of piss. Um, oh, wow. Holy shimoli, that guy's got a hell of a battle score. Oakenshade, the hero of water. Weirdly, I feel like Oakenshade is kind of an Ent name. It, it looks like something that's come out of the Ent name generator, but I'm just going to imagine maybe maybe he had Ent parents. Maybe he was adopted. I don't know. Cool fucking champion, though. He's definitely joining me. All right, who else we got? Um, a war camp of slave liberator survivors. They appear to have recently attempted a raid on a slave outpost, but failed and took great losses. Want to join me instead? We have a mission to defeat the slave of scum. We're not easily strayed from that path. They've still got a hefty old battle score force. Uh, I'm going to leave them to it. I don't think there's much for me to say to these motherfuckers. Alright, another barren land. Cool. A ruin that has been returned to nature. Okay. Oh, there's a hut. Let's go inside. You enter the hut and are surprised when I face greet you. Hello, I'm a humble hut dweller. Not trying to offend anyone here, friend. Who are you and what are you doing here? 
I ventured here far off long ago, seeking peace. I live on stuff I forage. You're the first visitor I've seen in years. Hmm. Well, there's a tax for living here, so fucking pay up. Alright, we'll leave him. We'll leave him. He's paid his taxes. We found another pit. Is it the same? Oh, so there's an entry fee for a start to even get in. 100 gold entry fees. Well, that's pretty bloody huge. Yeah, I'm not paying that. We're going to knock that pit down, and we made more than the entry fee in loot. Lovely. Bloody charge me an entry fee. Who do they think they are? Oh, we find a mercenary lodge full of hardy warriors for hire. And they're tribal goblins. So it's a goblin for hire scenario. I mean, there's no way I could afford them. So I guess I'm going to have to move on. <laughs> oh, God. Fucking tired, man. All right. Barter with these mercs. They know their value. Well, good luck. Moving on. We found another shrine. Oh. It's surrounded by bones and necromantic markings. So if I was a necromancer, this shrine would have a very different feel to it. Put it that way. But we're going to desecrate it. And there are no offerings here. So we'll move on. Some desperate looking peasants for five gold each. Please join me. Next. You come across the coastline, opening into the urine-washed Rudger Ocean. The water is a yellowed colour and seems to be more goblin urine than actual water. And this is an ocean. Have I found an ocean that is so filled with goblin piss that it's turned yellow? Let's skip a stone. Um, all right, we'll trawl the depths of this. I'm, I'm assuming some peasants will be getting themselves piss washed. It won't be me. Ah, we found a rusty chunk of metal. It was worth it. And that's fish. We can fish a lot. Um, rusted metal chunk. Okay. Oh, I've pulled a cluster of seaweed. A fine sea bass. A worthless rusty nail. Maybe Jesus was here. Um, rusted metal chunk. What else we got? Got a goblin fish. Another nail. Stink fish. Stink fish. Octopus. Cluster of seaweed. A goblin fish. Nothing. Nothing. And a fine sea bass. Well, I made a good money, so I can't complain. Bye bye, Rudger Ocean. Hmm. Hmm. I agree. Well, let's trade, wagon man. Um, hired thugs escorting a wealthy noble. There's only 24 of them. Whew. All right. Uh, let's attack. Wealthy noble, you'll be giving me your George! wealthy shit. There we go. Malak Demon Hater doing his job. And we lost a single soldier. Piss easy. Oh, are you fucking joking me? How is he wealthy noble if he's only got a three gold? I swear, these war camps, man. I'm getting punked. And we find more gold. That's, that's literally nearly, what? 30 times the amount of gold just in the side of the road. Outrageous. Another small hut. Let's have a look. Hello, my friend. Me and my companion here are keeping watch for bandits. We look out for bandits from here. Our far-off kingdom had a huge bandit raid catching them by surprise a few centuries ago, and since these defensive huts were placed all around. Uh, well, you got to pay me a tax. All right. That'll do. Um, oh, let's loot some graves. Ca Cardon the Carrot Cutter. That's an interesting title to be given. Um, maybe there was a bunch of fucking carrot people, and he sliced those motherfuckers down. Who knows? A glowing red potion. Cool. Alright, 49. I feel like we've been infinitely exploring. Oh, the scratching post again. Oh, we found a village full of hostile orcs who, upon seeing you, take up arms and prepare to fight. Well, I don't fancy my chances against a thousand orc villagers, so we're just going to leave. <laughs> they, they're grunting in victory. Alright, um, let's explore further. Oh, another batch of money. We got some desperate peasants. Please, please join my army. Um, another wizard, yet still don't have a goblin, so fucking annoying. Um, we've got a collapsed tomb here, um, dedicated to a noble named Lout. It's just a complete ruin. Um, barren lands. 22 masterless peasants, one of them looks forward and says, We're looking for work. Got any? I do. There's definitely a hole somewhere that you can die in fighting some goblins for a piss jar. And I will see to it that you make it there. Alright, 40 more chances. So theoretically, guys, we are 60% of the way through our journey here. 24 minutes into the video. Another abandoned mountain. Let's move on. Oh, we've got a village of orcs called Parthus Village. It appears to be struggling a little. 
So these guys aren't hostile. Let's recruit. Um, orcs don't follow humans, this three-eyed orc tells me. Thanks, bro. Um, village elder, who are you? We are orcs who settled instead of conquer. It's just as fun. Um, Alright, I'm going to demand a tax. Oh, how we have fallen. You will raid us with words? Yes. Um, local watchtower. Oh, well, watchtowers are actually really awesome. So these locations are random. And the watchtower gives you travel tips, which gives us exploration chances. But this is the first time ever that I, uh, I'm not wanting to do that. Um, all right, well, let's move on. We've got more exploration chances now. Oh, I found another one. This one has, like, local gardens. I'm going to demand attacks from here as well, but these guys are peasants, so the Draymark village, they'll probably join me, right? Um, humble village, not much to us, but that, I'd say. All right, fair enough. Um, let's have a little gardens then. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, the weirdest plant I've ever seen. Uh... Am I, am I tripping? I already taxed them once. Am I not? I'll have to review that in the video because I could have sworn I'd already taxed them once. But you know what? Draymark Village, man, so great. I taxed them twice. I guess it did say they were thriving. So, whoa! It's a fucking tall old mountain. I don't think I'm gonna send anyone up there because definitely gonna lose all my remaining knights. A few little gold coins. Another exploration chance. Um, oh, a bunch of peasants. Vagrant peasants who want to hire for very little gold. Sold. And let's search the remaining loot in the tower. We find a mysterious um, doll made of leaves and a mysterious smelly glue. I'm not going to question that. Let's destroy the tower and move on. After wandering for ages without seeing a speck of civilization, you find an old empty bucket sat alone in a sea of grass. Oh, damn. You approach a camp and see an army awaken from a deep meditation. They take a deep breath and shout DEATH before charging out at you. Let's fight him. <laughs> Fuck you, meditating warriors. Yeah, Malak demon hater grabs a bow and shoots a bunch of them. Holy fuck. Okay, that's bad. Damn, they actually kind of fucking... They fucked us over oh, a little bit. Oh. Malik Demon Hater, he's hit by a stray arrow. I'll never forget you, whatever your name was. <laughs> Alright, um, well, we lost a fair few people in that battle. That was maybe not wise to take that fight. Your men defeat the meditating monks and raid their camp, but to dismay, they find nothing. It seems these monks kept no possessions. Oh my god, these war camps have done me dirty. You approach a village of giants called your village. Well, it ain't my village, is it? Um, let's try to recruit some. You call out and ask if any of the giants will join you, but one says that you're too small to follow. Fucking rude. Alright, we'll take a tax. Let's see if we can tax you twice. You can take it if you want. These these dudes are dicks. And there's 1,210 giants here, and obviously I'm not going to attack them. Oh, man. I'm having a good run of it at the moment. Another mountain. Oh, it's, it's brittle. I could theoretically collapse it. Go on. There we go. Never a peak. It, there'll certainly never be a peak again, so... Um, some more soldiers. Oh, we we actually need new soldiers because we lost the last ones in a massacre. So, yes, join ahead. Um, my overseer, I have wandered long in search of one to serve. I'm Godolf, the Earthstone. Will you take me? Well, oh, we need a replacement. Go for it. All right. A mercenary lodge full of hardy bandits. So I actually can't afford them, but maybe I can barter with them. They know their value. Man, no one's willing to barter these days. Alright, well, I guess I'll also have to move on. Uh, scout, keeping me going. Another hut. A simple craft folk here. Well, you you pair can join me then. Ruined merc mercenary lodge. I don't know who would have been sold here. Hardy warriors, apparently. Um, you find a large rock with a painted message on it that says, Bridge Cavalry are the best gang ever. Are they? I don't know. Um, oh, a whole fairly loud buzzing sound. Let's have a look. It is a hive of frenzied, monstrous bug creatures that immediately burst towards you and your men. All right, this will this is going to be easy. We can crush these bugs. 
Okay, well those losses aren't fantastic. Yeah, they're, they're actually... Okay, there we go. That's what we're talking... That's what I'm talking about. Oh, damn. Godolf taking out a fucking shitload of those bugs. Oh, the monstrous queen. We killed their queen. That is awesome. Damn, we aren't doing that good. We've only got 450 troops. We are really... We need to pick our battles. Um, so we wiped out the horrid hive. And we found a magnificent prize. A large hive cream... Queen crown worth 1,500 gold. Hell yeah. Alright, let's fill that hole up and move on. 22 soldiers for free. Yes, please. Oh, we found a merchant. Yeah, we'll trade with you. Also, give us some extra gold. We're going to rob you. I just want some gold. I won't fuck with this guy anymore. We're going to move on. Um, The Drone Sea. Let's skip a stone. Um, anything in the depths here? We found a sunken chest with a jar of gold flakes in it. Hell yeah. Nothing in my fishing line. A goblin fish. Oh, there's lots of goblin fish and a stink fish. Not a good... St it's just stink fish and goblin fish. Come on, this last one's gonna be something good. A fine sea bass. What did I tell you? Skip a stone and be gone. Farewell, drone. Oh, a rogue tower. With bandits. They're so expensive, those bandits. Fuck. Right, I'm going to leave them to it. Ooh, a shrine dedicated to the weather. Um, first of all, I'm going to loot the offering. Ooh. A dice made of diamond. That is fucking lovely. All right, let's let's uh, let's pray. Oh, it's a, it's a chaotic shrine. So you can pray for special weather. Hmm. I'm going to play for... F play? Pray for flaming rain. Well, I'm going to desecrate the shrine then. And I managed to get the Chaos Orb. That is awesome. Let's move on. My Overseer, I've travelled day and night to find you. I wish to fight for you. Good, good, because we lost a bunch of our other knights. Um, you come across a cramp, a, a cramp? A camp of vampire hunters who invite you to the camp and offer you to share tips on how to slay vampires, or as they like to call them, blood witches. Why? Why not just call them vampires? Um... Uh, I got no time for them. Do they want to hire him? No. Yeah, there's no point. I don't want to fucking even bother. Moonfrost Hawks. Oh, another horrid hive. There's a thousand here. This one's even bigger than the last one. Yeah, I'm not fighting that. We're going to leave. Um, a large building with several pillars around it named the Chain Tavern. It's full of rogues and bandits. Let's have a drink then. Wow. So they're... They're selling some really fine booze here. Spilled some on myself, but never mind. What do I keep spilling it on myself? Can I not? I'm drunk. Alright, sweet. And then I got a tavern game. Oh, like, uh, there's an empty pedestal. What a cutthroat place this is. Thank you, three-chinned man. Um, let's play play 12, the tavern game, then. So, basically, the I'll go, I'll go first. So, I roll the dice. Whatever that number is, that's how many dice I get, and with that number, I keep rolling, and then my opponent rolls with the remaining dice that I didn't take, and we have to keep going until one of us gets the total number of 12, with combined quantity of what we've gotten. It'll make sense. So I have three dice. So I have to make... Ah, oh, I got 13. Fuck. If one of those um, fours was a three, I'd have it. Huh. I don't know why he's got an extra empty die there. That's a bug. Oh, I got it. I got 12. I won. Wait, what? Oh, it's like, if he also gets 12, it goes to a sudden death. I, I remember now. I literally made this game, and I can't even remember how it fucking works. Alright, well, I'm gonna move on. But, it's cool. Maybe we should attack the tavern. Nice. Yeah. Oh, we found another merchant. Let's trade. Oh, he's got rarities as well. Though hampered by a smaller stock. Um... Yeah, there isn't much stock here, but they trade in high-value stuff. We'll move on. Um, Alaren is located 7,968 strides away. Cool. Another shrine with a chaos orb in it. Let's loot the offering. A crudely made spoon. Hmm. Interesting. And let's try and get that chaos orb out. Oh, man. We've been lucky. It is possible those chaos orbs break in the process, so I'm glad we've been able to get them out. I feel like the end is in sight. Weak-looking farmers, and they're charging that much. Let's barter. Why do they all know their value? 
Don't know your value. Your value is shit and incorrect. Another exploration chance. Lovely. Nice bit of gold there. Um, Mathar is 3417 strides away. Oh, damn. A war camp full of stone armor giants who are intimidatingly small. I'm getting the fuck out of here, man. Look at this. They're fucking tense. Um, a shuffling sound coming from the looking side. A surprised goblin stares at you wide eyed. Thought you could avoid taxes, eh, you green bugger? <laughs> Me, I'm goblin. Living hole. What is this place? Goblin hole, where may live? Why did he go white when I said that? Are there any others here? No. Hold on for goblin. Me too fat. Oi, greeny, join my realm. Me leave hole, yes. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, for fuck's sake, a scout's give me two exploration chances. Will this ever end? We're 35 minutes into the video so far. Um, okay. Lion Northern Pink Cloaks is located 694 strides away. Another hut. Let's destroy the hut. Um, we've got a battlefield that's been picked clean. Well, there's no point then. A ruined trading post. Maybe this is one I went past earlier. I don't even know. Um, a war camp of goblins who notice me and wait. They won't join me. Okay. Well, at least these aren't hostile ones. But yeah, there's quite a lot of them. We'll leave them to it then. Oh, a purple walled fight pit where enchanted wizards brawl. Let's bet on a fight. Out the loud axe floral or handier the stocky. Stocky sounds good, but yeah, let's go for the stocky guy. I'll bet all my gold. Oh, I fucking totally nailed this. Come on. Wizards. Yeah, boy. Got that fucking gold. You ask around about the glowing fists and tough endurance of the fighters and are told there is a special magic brew they consume before the fight. Interesting. Well, that's cool. I'm not gonna fuck around with that. I'm gonna quit one of my heads. Take my money. We found um, a warrior called Wolf the Hill Watcher. You can join me, mate. Third champion. Found some gold. Another hut. Keeping watch for bandits. Another pair of watchmen. All right, you can join. Another pit. A pit where children fight. What the fuck? I say like I didn't code this. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, let's bet on these these little kids. We got Rock the young lad or Dumbledoop the little. Go on, Rock. Break his face. Woo. Nice. You ask around, someone quicks back. It's good for him. Helps toughen him up. Yeah, sure, bro. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's destroy the pit. Save these kids. Make some gold in the process. Oh, okay. Final exploration chance. Be something good, please. I am Sir Zaiten the Bastard. Yes, you are, my friend. So, this was kind of a... A baby delve into it. I feel like there were whole categories of encounter that we didn't even receive from remembering off the top of my head. I'm trying to think. I can't remember the different encounter types there are. But, like, you can see from this, there's quite a lot of different stuff. I mean, we could probably go again and get some weird stuff. We've got a mercenary lodge. Let's have a little fucking quick burst. Why are all the battlefields empty? Another urine washed ocean. A watchtower there. Um, blood right cultists. Obviously, as with anything, it is difficult to make it fresh and unique every time. But it was my goal. I worked very, very hard on this. That being said, I am almost certainly not even remotely done with expanding the um, infinite exploration update. Oh, damn. Okay, here we go. You find a site of a legendary unspoiled battlefield. Give me everything. It's probably had an option to do that, but we'll see. Um, one after the other. Damn, that is lucky. Um, but yeah, so most certainly we'll be adding more stuff, more ideas. Hey, if you guys have any ideas yourselves for possible locations, things that could happen, expansions on some of the locations we've got. I'm always down to hear you. I'm always up for hearing the ideas because sometimes you say something and I'm like, fuck. 
I can't imagine the game without that now. I mean, that's most of Awesome's features, if I'm being honest. I'm pretty sure even this exploration stuff was suggested by someone at one point, and that's why it ended up being done. So, I'm not going to waffle any longer. Thank you for watching. As with every video, I am a fucking hawk when it comes to the community of Warsim. So if you have any comments, suggestions, questions, whatever the fuck, you hit me up in the comments of this video, on our subreddit, on our Discord, on the Steam forums, and I will, with all likelihood, get back to you. Um, sometimes I don't reply in really soon, but usually I bookmark or save comments and stuff, and I get through them eventually, because I want to make sure I'm giving you my full attention and actual energy when I'm replying. So if I haven't replied for like three or four days or something like that, you know, don't don't fret. But yeah, leave a fucking comment, you know, have a chat, mention some shit, any, any suggestions, any ideas, I'm all here. Also, I mean, it's currently the 6th of September. Um, definitely not going to be that for the majority of the people who watch this video, but Warsome is currently on sale. So if you are on the fence or you know anyone who fancies the, this style of game, um, send it to the fucking Steam page because it's currently a bargain. And I'm going to shut up now. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a lovely day. Pew!